Following bench alignment of the prosthesis, it is necessary to check that there is no potential for contact between the socket and main electronics at maximum extension of the knee joint. Even if there is still space when the knee is extended, collision and therefore damage to the main electronics of the knee joint may still result when weight is placed on the prosthesis. If, as in this case, the specified minimum distance is not maintained, readjustment of the distal socket area is required at a minimum. The knee extender must be applied during bench alignment of the C-leg 4 to simulate a loaded prosthesis. There must be at least 5 mm of space between the socket and main electronics even when the knee extender is applied. This is the case here. Finally, the constructed prosthesis is checked once more on the user for sufficient distance under a load in a static situation. If a C-Leg 4 protective cover needs to be installed later, the required safe distance between the prosthetic socket and main electronics increases from 5 mm to 10 mm. This is necessary as an installed protective cover later reduces the available space by 5 mm. Particular caution is required when a C-Leg from a previous generation is replaced with a C-Leg 4. Due to the additional extension potential of the C-Leg 4, switching the knee joints could result in contact between the socket and main electronics even when there was sufficient distance with the previous fitting. This is particularly important during trial fittings. In conclusion, the distance between the socket and main electronics must always be checked when a knee extender is being used. If the specified minimum distance is not maintained, readjustment of the distal socket area is required at a minimum.